Greetings, Pastor Nick here of the Victory House. It is my privilege to be speaking with you today. God is so good. He has been pouring out his spirit in power, and we've been able to both participate and also watch as God transforms lives. I've enjoyed his spirit, whether it's our Sunday morning services around the altar, our Wednesday night prayer meetings, or hearing testimonies about our student ministries or our children, our men, our women. It's exciting that God is moving amongst us. And I believe that God moves amongst us for two reasons. Number one, it's his promise. His word says that he would pour out his spirit on all flesh. God loves to fill and flood people with himself. Praise the Lord. The second reason is that when God's people respond to his promise, he pours out even more. This is why Jesus said, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and the door will be open to you. God loves to respond to a desperate, hungry people. Jesus actually said, there are certain things, whether demonic strongholds, whether areas of breakthrough that you're praying for, that only get the victory through prayer and fasting. Now we don't fight to victory, we fight from victory, meaning when we pray and fast, we come in alignment with God's promise and God's word. So I wanna invite you over the next week from June 13th to June 17th to pray and fast with our church. Let's seek the Lord together. And what we ask our church is that, no, you don't have to pray and fast all the five days per se, um, you could if you want to, but would you take a meal or would you take one day and would you pray and fast? And our whole church will cover the five days if we do this collectively. I love what the word says in Hosea chapter 10, verse 12. Sow for yourselves righteousness, reap steadfast love, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord that he may come and rain righteousness upon you. You know what the fallow ground is? Our own mindsets, our own heart, our, our the society around us. We're going to break that up in prayer by humbling ourselves, believing that God is going to come and rain righteousness upon us. Let's get ready for what God wants to do. Let's believe God for the outpouring of the Spirit. Amen. Jesus is King. Would you sign up and pray today? Thank you so much. God bless you.